All right, so let's check in with Aaron Mayoski now because more snow is heading our way with freezing temperatures. Aaron, how's this going to continue to impact road travel, especially as we're coming off the holiday and some people returning to work on Monday? Yeah, it's going to be a tough go. I suspect that a lot of people are going to be zooming in from home because that's the thing to spot to stay to stay off these slick ice, compact snow and ice roads. This is our friend Randy Small up in Whatcom County at Randy Small on Twitter. That's his hashtag handle, and he shoots video like this all the time up there, and this is some interesting uh, pictures up out of Whatcom County as we saw earlier today. So here's some rough snow totals. I wanted to get those out of the way first. I know a lot of you wondering how much snow we've had. And again, these are just estimates from some spotters that we've had and also talking to the National Weather Service as well. You can see Monroe picking up nine plus inches. We're seeing Paulsbo and Aberdeen four to six, Port Orchard five inches, Newcastle as well getting up there about four inches. And as we look at some other select cities, we'll see the most Port Angeles and up in Bellingham. We're seeing a good go of that. I want to let you know that it's really hard to measure up in western Whatcom County because of the blowing and drifting of the snow of the gusty winds. Gusts up over 60 miles an hour today have created havoc up there for folks up in Whatcom and Skagit counties and across the Canadian border. So our thoughts go out to them. Squim 10 plus as well as Cedar Woolley and Burlington 9 eight for Mount Vernon. Those are just some of the preliminary totals. Winter weather advisory, not surprising that we'll stay up in these areas where we've seen some of the heavier totals there getting a little bit of a break at times, but we could see another one to three inches through just about 4 a.m. early on our Monday. So slick roads, tricky travel. It's going to be a tough go tomorrow as well. Winter storm warning also in effect for these areas in the southern Cascades and another three to seven inches through tomorrow at 4 a.m. We're also looking to the early morning hours for the southwest Washington coast just south of Westport and further inland. We'll see another two to four inches. So this isn't over yet as we've been talking about. We're in this cold snap. It's going to stay with us and we'll get flurries in between and then some breaks where we'll see some blue sky, but temperatures are going to be bone chilling cold 24 right now in downtown Seattle and we're seeing 19 to the north sound the coldest temperatures lifting up here to the north that's where that Arctic air mass has dropped down and it's hitting up against the Olympics and just keeping temperatures in the low teens to near 20 degrees elsewhere warming up to the mid 20s over across the mountain passes 13 degrees so this is what we can expect. Compact snow and ice overnight tonight, and that snow is tapering off, but we'll still have some slick roads. The worst of it, the conditions will start to get on those side streets where people have driven on that snow and kind of broken it up a little bit. It's got a little loose and watery, and then it freezes up. So Monday, snow and ice will remain a hard freeze overnight. It's going to be just bitter cold out there. So if you don't have to go on the roads early tomorrow morning or anytime, don't do it. Okay. Let's get up to the mountain passes where we're barely making out the US 2 Stevens Pass camera. Check that out. We've got more snow on the lens of the camera at 16 degrees. Chains required both there and over I-90. It is just a slow go, as you heard uh, us say earlier, that there'll be rolling closures and slowdowns, and you can barely make out US 12, 16 degrees. Traction tires required there. Look at the live radar shows us that we are still seeing the snow fly in those bands of showers, and it's really not just a Western Washington event. The whole western portion of the Cascades and over west down to Portland and even down to the Sierra Nevadas. We're getting a good amount of snow in our higher elevations for sure off the Olympics. But right now we're seeing Montesano, Hoquiam, Aberdeen. You are in on the action. Lake Quinault. This is where we're seeing some very good cells push through, dropping even more snow out there. Up over the mountains, you saw that US 2 is getting a little bit snow, more snow there now, and our camera kind of shook a little bit with the winds kicking through. That's the other huge huge factor to this. It's bone chilling cold already. Add the winds. This is sustained 29 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour for Friday Harbor. We do have this wind advisory in effect for gusts up to 40 to 50 miles an hour, which we've seen, and this is going to go through early tomorrow morning for the North Sound and parts of the islands. Here's a look at the last hour gust. We showed this to you a few minutes ago, 53, and that's not even the biggest gust that we've seen up there to the North Sound. Our future cast shows us that we will get through tonight and start to dry out just a bit for our tomorrow morning commute. But then as we get going into the afternoon hours, we start to see this develop along the coast. This is 3 p.m. And as we get after dinner, we may see some of those showers primarily from Seattle southward start to pick up in our neck of the woods again. So a tough go of it. We are not out of it. We are keeping our weather alerts up not only for the snow, but the bitter cold conditions and the travel conditions, especially with this holiday season. I know this is a lot for you to ingest right now. We're going to be touching on the seven day forecast throughout this newscast as we continue to go. But 
Thursday and Saturday and maybe into Sunday a bit early, having another chance of some more snow as we get going into 2022. We'll have more news and weather right after the break.